Still can't get it started. Oh, this is all I need. I'll get Ken to have a look at it for you. Yeah, I've got your peppermint tea. And reckons it's good for your stomach. No, I, I just told her you've got a dicky tummy. Oh, probably wouldn't have mattered if you'd told her the truth. Not now Nickel knows. Yeah, well, you can't have said it. I hope Jay would have been round here already. Yeah, only a matter of time, isn't it? I mean, blood is thicker than water, and I don't think you believe me about Jay. Well, I could talk to him, back you up, tell him how Jay lost the plot. It's our word against his. No, there's only one thing for it. I'm going to get this stupid car fixed and get out of here. Dad, can I ask you something? Yes? When things got bad with Charity and Jay, did he ever hurt her? Well, of course. When she found out about Archie, she was heartbroken. But then again, she was no angel either. I don't mean emotionally, I mean physically. Hey, where is this coming from? Forget it, I, I'm... Got the wrong end of the stick. Morning. Hey. Can I get you a coffee? I'm good, thanks. Yeah. That looked like a pretty intense conversation. Yeah, it's just this work stuff. Oh, I thought you might like some breakfast as you left so early. Thank you. I've got a lot of stuff to sort out, so I just I thought I'd better get cracking. Or are you avoiding me? Like last night when you did your disappearing act. I told you where I was. At Jenny's grave. All that time. I've got stuff to sort out in my head. Like what? Nikhil, I know something's bothering you. Oh, yeah, look, the mountain of work I've got to get through, i really got to get on. You know you can tell me anything. Maybe I can help with whatever it is? Tanya, I really don't have time for this. And if you want to help, just let me deal with things in my own way, OK? Fine. Get out your way. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Hey. We'll talk tonight, yeah? Hey, Brad. You change this form for the pub, please? Of course. Huh, don't tell me. I should see the other guy. Actually, it was a watermelon. I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> Dear. Wow, it's like the walking dead in here. Hey, lucky lady. Adam's gonna be a happy boy later. The for my mum's grave. It's her anniversary today. Well, I'll just take my foot out of my mouth and change the subject. How do you fancy working a couple more hours this afternoon? What for? Aaron's buffet. Kane's bringing him home later. Well, all being well. And, oh, he's had such a bad time in there. I just want to wash it all away with booze and sausage rolls. You know, if you make the effort, he might even forgive you for accusing him. <laughs> Charles, I would, and I'm sorry, but I've got plans with Andy today. Oh, oh no worries. I'll just ask Marla. So, are you going to let me in on these plans, then? Well, I just thought that we could spend the day together, you know, to remember Mum. So it'd be me and you and Robert. I can't. Andy, whatever it is that you two have got going on, can you not put it aside just for today, please? Mum wouldn't want it to be like this. Look, I'll come to the graveyard with you, but I'm not doing anything with Robert. Wow. You've really made yourself at home. <laughs> you even got my mug. Drop the petty attitude. It was a joke. Look, I called you here because I spoke to Megan yesterday. Right. And what did she have to say? Nothing good. In fact, she was saying some pretty weird stuff. That you, uh, kidnapped Charity. And you believe her? I don't know what to believe. So I'm asking you, is it true? Do you think I'd be here if it was? You don't do something like that to a dingle and live to tell the tale. So why would Megan make it up? I slept with her mate. She is a bitter ex. But you're my brother. And surely you won't take her word over mine. Oh, he's 
isn't he cute? I can't wait to squish those chubby little cheeks. Oh, he certainly is a bunny baby. Yeah, he's out of intensive care now. Another step closer to coming home. I'll see you later. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks. You will cope, you know, when he comes home. <sighs> Damn. And I was doing my best. I'm not bricking it at all, Fierce. <laughs> Seriously, Ness? You've got so much to look forward to. Mm. First steps, first words. I'm never going to have any of that again, am I? Hey, you all right? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Don't know where that came from. Straight from your ovaries, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's just, you know, spending all this time with Johnny, it's made me realise that I really do want another baby of my own. Uh, yeah. Chatted to Paddy about it last night. Wow, and? And we talked over everything and, well, he pointed out that with my history, it's not a good idea. He's right, you know, it's just... Hard to accept that it's not going to happen again, you know? All alone. Oh, hi. Yeah, I was going to catch up with some friends in Canada, but because um, of the time difference, they're all going to work. Oh, whereas here in Blighty, it's wine o'clock. <laughs> Fancy joining me? Oh, um, I don't know. <laughs> I am really sorry that you've had to come all the way over here. And I know it's all my fault. OK, come on, let me buy you a drink to make up for it. Might take the edge off the homesickness. Oh, all right, why not? Listen, um... Your mum's no idea how bad it was for you inside, but she doesn't need to know, just as long as you're OK now, yeah? Yeah, I will be. <gasps> well, there'll be boys back! <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. Careful, you're in his hard man rep. Oh, he's a cute, eh? Yes. <laughs> Glad to have you, mate. Yeah, it's good to be back, man. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get off to the garage. And you, time to get arrested again. Well, at least not till after Christmas, anyway. Be back later for the drinks, do. Yeah. Oh, Mum, come on, I don't want to make a big fuss of this. Well, it's just a few family and friends we've all missed you, love. Well, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you off. So? Aaron's out. Must be pleased. Shame he didn't remember who shot you earlier, eh? Oh, God, could we please not have this argument again? It's not today, right? I can't cope with it. Listen, Rob, Andy wasn't up for it, but me and you could have a drink to remember, Mum. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe later. Got to be somewhere. Might as well put me down on sausage roll duty after all. I just didn't realise the effect coming back here would have on him. I know he's thinking about Jenny, but... There's something else, and he won't tell me what. Ouch. Trust me, I know what it's like to be shut out. I'm sure everything will be fine when you get back to Canada. What if you're right and he wants to stay here? I really love him. If that's what he wants, maybe I should consider it. So? Here we both are. Me back in the land of the living and you back in the land of the free. Still all a big joke to you, innit? No. No, I'm, I'm really glad I got you out. What are you talking about? I should never have been there in the first place. I did nothing wrong. Well, you're here now. Isn't that the main thing? So why am I getting the impression I should be grateful here? Well, would you rather I just left you in there? What the hell are you playing at? What took you so long to tell the police it wasn't me anyway? I nearly died, Aaron. Excuse me if I'm not exactly firing on all cylinders. Yeah, or maybe we're just trying to mess with my head. Again. Show me that the great Robert Sugden's still got all this power. No, I swear, Aaron... Why are you being like this? Because I've been to hell and back because of you. And I remember what I said at the court. I hate you. And nothing you can do is ever going to change that. Oh, thanks so much. That's going to be a big help. <laughs> Bye-bye now. All sorted. You're going to be able to get in and out that bath, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> Although I have to say, I should probably still require someone to scrub my back. Honestly, what are you like? The day you stop flirting with any woman with a head is a day we start worrying about you. <clears throat> One of the great advantages of being my age is that I can uh, act at being an old rogue. Mm. 
So where's Harriet taking Ashley and Arthur for their tea? Some fancy eatery, leaving me here with a microwave meal for one. Why don't I make you something? Oh, don't you have to go? No, no rush. How does chicken casserole sound? It sounds like someone's avoiding going home. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not sure you thought it through properly. What about your life back there? It's not all about me, though, is it? Nick Hill's lost so much already. If he wants to be with his family, I should probably just get over myself and support him. Where's ladies? Just through there. Oh, you OK? Yeah. <laughs> it's the wine. <laughs> it gets me every time. Can I get a, a vodka orange instead? Sure. Thanks. Vodka orange, please. Uh, your time has just gone off it. Oh, right, that'll be the sausage rolls. Right, so that is the food sorted. All we need now is to convince the guest of honour to make an appearance. And we are good to go. Cheers. Ta. Oh, there you go. Can I sing you a song? Twinkle, twinkle, it's your star. No, no, Angel, Angel, sorry, I'm expecting a call. Uh, hello? Hello? I'm sure they'll call back if it's important. Hello, I'm home. And look who I found outside. Oh, look, Nicola, isn't that nice? <sighs> it's pathetic. If you think some poxy bunch of flowers will make me forget what he did. I got you this and all. You know, so you can... Pick some stuff for the house. You could choose the colours and everything. Anything you want. Spend some of your spoils from Dubai, eh? Why can't you come back? It's not fair on Angel. Well, neither is forcing her to live in a hovel and sit on plastic chairs. It's tantamount to child abuse. I've said you can pick some furniture. Perhaps we should leave you two to talk. Oh, no need. Angel, say goodbye to Daddy. Lauren, show him the door, please. Oh, you're being ridiculous. No, what's ridiculous is you thinking you can act like some low-rent gigolo and get away with it. Lawrence. Is this really necessary? I... Do you want me to start throwing your best china? No, oh, don't worry. I'm going. Oh! Nicola, can't you see how sorry he is? No. He's going to have to up his grovelling several gears if he thinks he's ever going to get me back. Oh, that's lovely. I am so glad you got out. That was a miscarriage of justice. Right, yeah, and, and, and are you? Uh, sorry, mate, she's, uh, she's on. <laughs> Alcohol and jet lag don't mix, apparently. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, look who's here. Finally the party can get started. Hey, uh, sorry we're late. We had a bit of an incident with an adenoidal cat. Right, well, it's good to see you. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Promise me you're not going to get in any more trouble. I don't think my nerves could stand it. Trust me, mate. I'm not planning on going back in there anytime soon. It's great to have you home, Alan. I had some drawn placards in the bin. Placards? Get placards from the protest. Get Aaron out. We were going to change Chaz to some railings. Hmm, <laughs> kinky. <laughs> Vic, you all right? Yeah, yeah. It's great news about Aaron. I'm just not really in the party mood. Oh, all right. Well, why don't we sack it off and uh, go and have a quiet tea somewhere? Do a little toast to your mum. Well, would you not rather stick around for Aaron? Listen, I can get hammered with him any time I want now. Today is more about your mum, all right? Oh, I'm interested. Wow. I know. I didn't want to think I was still eating for two. If only I had the chance. Oh, blimey. You really have got it bad, haven't you? Well, look, if you need to take the edge off, when Johnny comes home, you can look after him whenever you want. Day or night, any time. I'm always there for you and Johnny. But I do really want another one of my own nests. It's just, how do I convince Paddy? Hey. Mm. What are we doing here? 
And more importantly, do they have alcohol? <laughs> I think you've had enough. I thought Nickel was supposed to be boring one. Hmm. We should call him. No, not in this state. Mm. Hey, I've got your room, so you can sleep it off. Can I just go home? Nikhil will go ape if he sees you like this. Mm. And I'll get the blame for being a bad influence. And we'll both be in the doghouse. <laughs> Come on, let's get you upstairs. Let's get you back. Whoa! You got it? Is that it? Okay. Wow, my dear, that was a triumph. Oh, it's just a casserole. Fit for a king. Well, it's nice to have somebody to cook for. That's not the only reason you're reluctant to go home, is it? Well, truth is, it's not home anymore. It used to be ours. And now there's no us anymore, so... Are you and Marlon arguing? No. No, it's not like that. He's started to go on dates again. That is difficult. Well, I thought I'd hurt him so much he'd never go on another date again, so in a weird kind of way, it's sort of like a relief. He's moving on and I need to move out. That's probably wise. It's difficult to start afresh when you're tethered to the past. Well, I've paid Marlon back the money I owe him, so it's not like I can't afford it, but... Starting again, it's scary, isn't it? You're young! You have your health! You can do it! <laughs> if the road ahead looks daunting, just think how far you've come already. You've a lot to be proud of. And a great deal to look forward to. Three, two, one, go! We did. Uh, disqualified. Half it's down your shirt. <laughs> hey, sis. Mm. It's good to see you smiling again. Yeah, well, it's amazing what a good night's kit can do. Mm, and the tablet's working, then. Completely knocked me out. An hour and being home, well, it's all good. All right. Excuse me, I think I just said I could work. Oh, I've done something wrong without realising it again, haven't I? No, actually, you've done something really right. Like what? Like being a brilliant dad. And I just wanted to ask you a little something before you got too drunk. <clears throat> How would you feel about adopting? Adopting, like, a donkey or something? No, a baby. Or an older child. I mean, I, I thought I wanted a baby, but actually, I don't really mind. This could be a good solution for us. Uh, wow. Yeah, look, I don't expect you to answer it now, obviously. I just wanted to put it out there, so, you know, think about it, yeah? Uh, pipe, please, Jazz. This is a private party. Get out of the pub. Right, that's enough, Ken. I think I decide who drinks in my pub. Pipe, was it? Yes, please. I'll bring it over. He did the right thing in the end. It won't hurt just to keep him sweet, because if we go winding him up, he might change his statement. Oi, fancy a shot? No pun intended. Why have you asked me to come in? You're going to tell him, aren't you? I have to. It's his baby, too, and he has a right to know. After everything that I've told you, he doesn't deserve to be a dad. He's dangerous. After all you say he's done, you still stayed with him. You got pregnant by him. Yeah, well, I'm not saying I haven't made mistakes. And I'm not defending anything he did. But wasn't it all because he wanted Archie back? And losing him, that's why he went off the rails. I lost my son in the worst possible way. I don't go around blaming everyone. You've got a second chance here. Doesn't he deserve that too? He deserves nothing. I'm sorry you've had a tough time. But Jay needs something to hang on to. He needs this baby. He's my brother and underneath it all, I know he's a good person.
How will Lady C and Georgie cope with their Bush Tucker trial? We'll find out at nine. Next, it's our first trip tonight to the Coronation Street Cobbles and Leanne reaches breaking point.